Hello and welcome to episode 10 of The Pilgrimage on FM23. My name is Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, I've got the final two games of the season for you in the National League North. We are away to Kettering Town in the first match and in the final match of the season we are at home to Buxton. Since you were last with me, we have gone unbeaten, so extending our uh, unbeaten run further. And uh, we are uh, just one win away from the title. So uh, let's get into the uh, first match and I'll show you the team for that one in just a moment. Okay, here is the uh, team for the uh, match against Kettering then. And it is Tyra in goal, back four of Coates, Kenyon, Edwards and Thompson. Dylan Hill at the base of midfield, Weeks and Divine ahead of him. Thomas and Stevenson on the wings with Willoughby up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, well my assistant manager is uh, recommending we tell them uh, to pick up where they left off last time. So I think I'm going to agree with him. It was a good performance. So we'll, um, what will we do? Point the finger possibly? Yep, we'll do that and send them out with that as the uh, the message and as always we'll uh, see how that uh, goes down before we uh, make any decisions uh, Kettering are playing a really defensive looking system back seven effectively we come forward with the first attack Stevenson into the area cuts the shot across the uh, keeper he's made the save but we'll get a corner out of it and it is Thompson with the in-swinging corner from the right-hand side. Headed away by the uh, Kettering defence. McDonald brings it clear. And gets up to halfway. Plays it forward, but Edwards picks it up. And the highlight comes to an end. I think we might just need to uh, speed the action up slightly. We don't, in fact. I'm going to leave it. Right, next highlight is uh, one for us again. Divine to Stevenson, back to Divine. Thompson on the left, gives it back to Divine again. He's in the area, has the shot, it's a weak one. And easily uh, saved by the Kettering keeper. So uh, we're doing everything we can at the moment. Uh, let's encourage the lads. See if we can uh, just uh, generate a little bit more and get in the uh, the lead which will as good as secure the title depending on how Scarborough are getting on uh, we'll need to check up on that later in the uh, the match at the moment Kettering offering little going forward but they're uh, defending resolutely um, let's demand more at this point see if we can get a goal before half time and in fact, it's a Kettering attack. The header comes in, but it's over the top and the highlight comes to an end. And Hill with the free kick for us. Round the wall, but Gregory in the Kettering goal makes the save. So it will be a right wing in swinging corner from Thompson again. And it's a little bit deeper this time, but headed away. Weeks doesn't get there and the highlight comes to an end. That is half time. It's Kettering nil. Chester nil so we go in there and say we need a little bit more um, yeah the assistant is recommending we go a bit stronger than that so let's pump the fists in fact no let's point the finger not happy and let's see what subs we can make um, there's a little bit of uh, nerves out there I think we get Willoughby off bring Marsh Hughes on and send them out and uh, immediately demand more so let's do that and then we'll keep an eye on the uh, performance in the second half I don't want to go attacking just yet I think Stevenson's got to come off He's down to a 6.4 and on a yellow card, so we'll bring Milenic Alley on. And I think we will, in fact, we'll stay on positive because if we don't lose this match, then we will go into the final game 
If we're not already assured of the title, we'll go into it needing very little to win it. Uh, McDonald to Amoteng, but it's played back in the end to Bakare. Stora plays it forward, and we've cut out the uh, the forward pass. Thompson to Divine for Chester into Ali. Marsh Hughes picks it up on halfway, but uh, Kettering have it back. McDonald down there right loops up into the air and Edwards picks up the loose ball finds Thompson back to Edwards into Divine long ball forward Marsh Hughes finds Ali and he escapes his marker plays it into Marsh Hughes back to Weeks into Marsh Hughes has the shot and it is just over the top so with 10 minutes to go, I'm going to switch to 3D highlights because there is a chance we can win this uh, now. Um, so we need to uh, get the uh, highlights uh, so that we can uh, see the trophy presentation if it's forthcoming. We have suffered a red card though, so we're gonna do what we normally do, sacrifice a defensive midfielder to keep two players in midfield. And I'm just gonna make sure that uh, we've got the uh, the highlights uh, that are gonna generate the uh, the full uh, presentation for you so let's go into preferences and just increase the uh, graphics quality to uh, very high temporarily just for the uh, remainder of this match and we'll uh, return to the uh, the action and uh, we've got, what, seven minutes left. It's with the uh, Kettering keeper at the moment. He launches it forward. And uh, we've won it back, but only briefly. And it's played forward. Graham is in one-on-one -on -one with our goalkeeper. Hits the post. And Harry Tyra picks up the uh, rebound. So we've got Coates on the ball now. Down the uh, right-hand side. Our right-back plays it forward to no one. And uh, Bakare plays it forward for Kettering to Sharp. Uh, we win the header and Coates picks up the ball, but he's lost it immediately. And Bright Amoteng scores for Kettering, so we ain't going to be winning it this time. I will leave the uh, highlights on 3D though. So we'll watch the whole of the next match in those 3D highlights. Uh, we don't need a replay of a Kettering goal, so we'll move straight on. Uh, in terms of the uh, the way it's going at the moment, it looks like maybe we've done enough anyway. Although actually no, we're three points clear with a worse goal difference. So another goal won't make any difference at this uh, stage. But if we were to get an equaliser, then that would be enough. To secure the title, but we're now 2 0 down. Reese Sharp with an absolute belter for Kettering, taking advantage of the fact we're down to 10 men. And we've got three minutes of stoppage time to, uh, to endure. Kettering were the better side in the second half of the second half. The rest of the match we largely dominated, and they've scored twice in their period of domination. And in the end, they don't really deserve it, but um, we don't deserve to have won it. So the players trudge off disappointed and defeated. And I'll be back in a moment with the second match of today's episode. Okay, time now for the second match of the episode and the final match of the season as we face uh, Buxton at home in the National League North. And the team for this one with a couple of enforced changes due to suspensions. Tyra in goal, back four of Coates, Burke, Edwards and Thompson. Dylan Hill at the base of midfield. Weeks and Lynch in central midfield. Thomas and Stevenson on the wings. Willoughby up front. So let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. 
Okay, the uh, assistant manager is recommending let's give the fans a title party at full time, shall we? Uh, given that we've uh, been advised in uh, the uh, pre-match uh, team meeting to take the pressure off the lads, I think we disagree with that and uh, tell them uh, go out there, relax and play your natural game. The result will come. And that seems to have gone down quite well. Uh, felt the pressure lifted is a common reaction. Uh, relaxed and composed are the others. So let's get into the uh, action and see if we can pull it off. And uh, let's go. We're on the uh, 3D as, uh, as per the previous match. So that if there is a uh, title party at the end, we'll get to see it. Uh, one thing I do need to do with, with us being on uh, 3D is just slow the action down very slightly. Yeah, it's on medium, so that's fine. And we'll uh, await the uh, the first highlight. As always, first 10 minutes, we're not going to do anything with regards to uh, changing anything. Uh, the one thing we will do is keep an eye on the uh, league table as you can see we're currently as it stands in the live league table two points clear of Scarborough if they were to take the lead because of their superior goal difference they'll go above us but if we win there's nothing they can do to stop us winning the title so at the moment a draw is enough but not if uh, Scarborough go ahead and in fact they've gone behind by the looks of it. I am going to change, um, I'll, I'll change the view of our formation to the latest scores when we get the chance to do it. Um, we have got a highlight and it is a Buxton highlight by the looks of it, but Coates has picked up the uh, ball and played it back to Tyra. Uh, Edwards plays it into Lynch. Lynch is ball forward. And it's found Willoughby in space. And Kurt Willoughby has given us the lead. It is Chester 1, Buxton 0. And we're on the way to the league title. So 14 minutes gone. Chester 1, Buxton 0. If it stays like this, there is nothing that uh, Banbury or Scarborough can do to uh, prevent us winning the title. And uh, that, as you can see, has taken us to 90 points. Banbury on 87. Um, Scarborough on 85. So that must mean Scarborough losing. Um, let's just get the uh, latest scores up so that we can keep an eye on it. So Scarborough are 1-0 down to Banbury. So they're playing each other. So as long as Scarborough don't win, then we're champions regardless of what happens. So that's the, uh, the result to keep an eye on. And with half an hour or nearly half an hour gone, we uh, remain 1-0 up. And uh, things are uh, in our own hands. So, still Scarborough nil, Banbury one. Long may that continue as well. Spennymore now completely out of the equation, so it is a uh, a two way fight. Uh, Banbury can't win the title, so it's a straight fight between us and Scarborough for the uh, the championship. And the only way Scarborough can win it is uh, by winning their match and us losing. Um, Coates plays it back to Tyra. Tyra goes to Edwards this time, who gives it straight back to him. Uh, Tyra this time looking for a pass out of defence. Plays it short to Edwards, who goes left to Thompson. Thompson's ball forward, finds Stevenson, who turns his man. And plays a ball across to Thomas. Goes out to the right to Coates. Who is uh, running into the area. Has the shot. 
and it is uh, saved and put behind for a corner and it will be uh, Weeks with the in-swinging corner Declan Weeks swings it in, it's headed away and uh, Willock hammers it clear for Buxton and the highlight comes to an end so at the moment we are well in charge of our uh, our own uh, destiny and it remains Scarborough nil, Banbury 1 in the other match so uh, everything is working out exactly as uh, as we hoped it would do at the moment as we approach half time so I'll just drag that down a little bit more so that we can uh, see the uh, the score line properly and we've got a free kick Declan Weeks over it chips it into the area and Thomas's header is just wide of the target so we miss a, a good chance to go 2-0 up just before the halftime interval and uh, that is just about that for the first half and there it is confirmed so let's uh, get into the dressing room encourage the lads we're playing well um, but we are definitely capable of more do we need to make any halftime subs only for reasons of fitness at this stage answer is no so let's go out there and uh, play the second half let's encourage to fit in with what we said to them at half time and uh, things are going well at the moment and it's still Scarborough nil, Banbury United won. So uh, Banbury look like they're going to take second place and go into the uh, playoffs in pole position. And we look like we're heading for automatic promotion at the moment. And uh, if it continues like this with no highlights in the second half, We'll be very happy indeed. I'll be quite happy to have an event-free second half, stress-free and worry-free. It seldom works out that way though, so um, we will keep an eye on everything and uh, make changes if and when we need to. And uh, Okay, so we're coming up to the hour mark. So it, it starts to become the point at which we uh, keep an eye on fitness levels. As we go for a shot from the free kick, Willoughby picks up the loose ball, crosses it in. It's Kirby clears and the highlight comes to an end. Big chance uh, to go 2-0 up, but not taken. And in terms of uh, fitness and performance, no changes needed yet as we pass the hour mark but um we'll uh, we'll keep things under review nonetheless we've got every position covered on the pitch i think what i will do actually is take hill off uh dylan hill and uh bring on uh kevin roberts in fact i'll bring on murray um, and swap the uh, midfield three around um, we can put Declan Weeks into that defensive midfield role and I think Murray might be better as the ball winning midfielder as it happens he's not it makes no difference so I'll put Joe Lynch back where he was and we'll confirm that change and it's Harrison Burke to Edwards, plays it forward. Willoughby might have been offside, he nods it down. It's and uh, it's a free kick to Buxton, he is offside, confirmed. So, uh, right, we do need to take uh, Kieran Coates off. So it's a good job I didn't use Kevin Roberts as the uh, defensive midfield. He can come on at right back instead. And that's our second substitution. We've got one left 
for the final 15 minutes should we need to use it and I think I'm going to hold on to it actually for now Tyra with the uh, long clearance for uh, Chester it's headed fo uh, forward by uh, Buxton but Kevin Roberts uh, picks it up and finds Thomas back to Weeks plays it in to Willoughby who turns plays it out to the right hand side Thomas doesn't receive it but we do get the uh, clearance Edwards to Thompson into Lynch uh, Stevenson back to Edwards it's played to Lynch who goes back to Edwards Edwards ball forward to the right hand side and Thomas brings it down plays it out further right to Roberts into Thomas across for Kurt Willoughby who applies the finish and it is Chester 2 Buxton nil on 78 minutes we're now officially 12 minutes away from being crowned as league champions and gaining promotion to the uh, National League so we uh, should just be able to uh, see out the uh, remaining minutes I'm going to take Thompson off uh, there's no need to uh, hold on to that sub now um, and we'll bring on Matty Williams and then I think we need to move one of the centre backs over to left back in fact left back is the one position we don't have covered so I'm going to leave Matty Williams out there and he can just see out the remaining seven minutes it shouldn't be a problem we're so uh, dominant in this match that we should be able to just see it through and claim the win I'm going to take my hands off the mouse now there is literally nothing I can do we just need to see out the time and then we'll uh, have the uh, post-match uh, presentation of the trophy to look forward to that is imminent now and uh, we do have another highlight Ando for Buxton with the throw in finds Kirby um, and we do get it clear Lynch completes the clearance finds Willoughby back to Thomas finds Murray and he's lost it Kirby brings it forward for Buxton and we could do without him finding the back of the net and he hasn't uh, he's uh, too high with the shot we're into four minutes of stoppage time so it's uh, a little bit longer to uh, to wait for official confirmation and uh, we are now two minutes away from the league title and it surely is just a matter of uh, awaiting the final whistle now uh, seconds remaining and we will be officially confirmed as promoted as champions as soon as the final whistle blows it has blown and we're awaiting the uh, trophy presentation quite why there isn't one yet I don't know there isn't any doubt that we've won the league I don't think um, the trophy presentation hasn't come so I will uh, confirm the final league standings and tell you what's coming up on the next episode in just a moment okay time now then to show you the uh, final league table and just to confirm we do end up as champions and therefore promoted to the Vanarama National League uh, we finish with 26 wins, 12 draws and 8 defeats from our 46 matches and 90 points. 3 points clear of runners-up Banbury United who overtook uh, Scarborough on the uh, final day. Scarborough finish with 24 wins, 13 draws, 9 defeats and 85 points and uh, therefore we're promoted and uh, Banbury and Scarborough progress to the playoff semi-finals Spennymoor, Darlington, Fylde and Kidderminster fill the other four positions and will contest the uh, playoffs 
taking the drop out of National League North to the regional leagues are Chorley, Kings Lynn, Bradford Park Avenue and Farsley Celtic. So uh, I'll be back on the next episode where you'll uh, find out whether we uh, remain with Chester in the uh, Vanarama National League or whether we get a new job. So uh, if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.